Good morning, members. AB 2054, the Crisis Act, will establish a pilot program to scale up community-based organizations as first responders. Interactions with police can be scary for many people. People in domestic violence situations, with immigrant status concerns, with mental illness, with substance abuse, members of the LGBTQ community, people who are black and other folks historically traumatized by law enforcement, all want resolutions and solutions to the problems causing them distress. But they don't want to be shamed or judged for their person or circumstance. They don't want arrests, sometimes they don't want charges, and they don't want a fatality. They want a de-escalated resolution, and they want family and community peace. They want public safety, but not at the cost of a life. For most of us, 911 is the only option for any crisis. And yet for many, we don't want to engage with whoever is on the other line because the response is oftentimes not scalable. So many communities end up less safe as a result. AB 2054 is a law enforcement health bill, if you think about it. Law enforcement is over -tra traumatized, undertrained in certain instances, and sometimes unsympathetic to certain calls. Currently, we ask our emergency responders to shift the adrenaline, the tactic, and the force that they use to apprehend an armed robber, for example, to the schizophrenic young male. That is unrealistic and it's unwise and can be fatal when those two people appear to be the same person in the eyes of law enforcement. Tawn Hall, mother of Miles Hall, a 23-year-old Walnut Creek resident, who was killed a year ago during a schizoaffective disorder-induced crisis, says that if this bill had existed a year ago, her son would be alive. Of course, this is also a community health bill. In cities across the state, community organizations are responding successfully to emergency situations involving unhoused people, people experiencing a mental health crisis, folks exposed to violence, folks experiencing substance abuse, and people impacted by natural or climate disasters. Yet despite the positive impact that and cost savings of these community-oriented responses to emergencies, our state has done little to support and scale up these efforts. Instead, we're asking law enforcement to continue to respond to emergencies better suited to peer support experts, mental health providers, or crisis counselors trained to de-escalate and resolve crises. AB 2054 would marshal in an array of community organizations equipped to step in as first responders. These organizations have credibility within their communities and value the life and circumstances of people who require help. Expanding the role of community partners does not mean eliminating law enforcement. It means you are empowering groups who have demonstrated that they can protect their communities while freeing the police to focus on issues more suited for law enforcement training. AB 2054 received bipartisan support in committee with zero no votes. The bill is also supported by more than 10,000 nonprofit organizations from a variety of sectors. I respectfully ask for your I vote, and I would like to open the roll for co-authors. <laughs>